and I want you to write down on your paper there three things that you're thinking about the mathematics of this problem. Teachers Development Group is a nonprofit based in Portland, Oregon. We provide professional development for teachers and leaders focused on improving teaching practices to support the mathematical achievement and success of all students. There are many challenges in teaching math and ensuring equitable outcomes. The first is the belief that only some people can do mathematics. A second is the teaching practices that focus on particular students, but that privilege and status is not given to all students. And third is centering the needs of students who are often marginalized in classrooms and their voices and perspectives are frequently not heard. So you need to think of one thing that you could share and who in your group is gonna share it. To address these challenges, we work with schools and districts and teachers across the country to improve teaching practices that are tied to student habits and routines in mathematical thinking. What surprised you today? Actually, how quick they caught on to the bar model. They were really struggling with it. Pretty much everybody was able to get started with the bar model. We work with the teachers to help them think through their lessons and it's almost like we become a think partner for them so that they can bounce ideas off of us and we can think about together what does the research say about how children learn math. We actually look at how the lesson is received by the students, what the students do in response to certain teacher moves, how they interact with each other. We see every student as a mathematician and being able to work with the teachers to ensure that every kid in their class is engaged. So when we think about the students who might be on the margins or might not always have a voice in the classroom, we want to make sure that they are able to show their growth as well. And then for Tuesday, um, I put three because it says she had three times as many. One thing that we're trying to do is to eliminate or avoid language that may be harmful or stereotype individuals. How are they thinking about the attributes of students instead of labeling them with low or high? What can the student do? What's great about that particular individual? Another way that we want to support equity, diversity, and inclusion is by using the math habits of mind and interaction. In particular, looking for encouraging students to use visual representations to make sense of the mathematics through sketches, through pictures, through visual models. Okay, so you're thinking about graphing it with a coordinate plane, right? So we can look at it visually, nice. We want them to look at contexts that relate to their own world. We want all students to be able to make a conjecture, like what would happen if, and then justify either that that works, and yes it's true, or no it doesn't quite work. All right, now I want to know what are the quantities or what are the numbers that we have in our problem? One math habit that teachers find particularly helpful to students is using stuck points and mistakes. You're saying five minus two, but remember the number up top, it's two minus five. Those mistakes are important to mathematical understanding. We can use it as a sign of new learning. We want them to explain their reasoning. We want them to ask genuine questions. We want them to listen carefully to make sense of each other's ideas. When we first talk to a school, we think hard about their needs and how it aligns with the sorts of services that we offer. Hamilton County faces a lot of the same challenges of improving math instruction as, as really the rest of the country does. We began working with TDG around 2000. We've seen academic growth through the work, both in the value add of our measurement systems here along with achievement. We've seen teacher practice grow, and more importantly, we've seen students' opportunity to engage in authentic mathematics grow in the classroom as well. Teacher Development Group changed my teaching practice because I teach math in a way that I was not taught math. If you allow 
kids the opportunity to process and make sense and become problem solvers and thinkers, that's going to take them beyond a math class because those are skills that they can use in any field that they choose to go into. We've been working on a very long validation study of the Mathematics Habits tool. We have used hundred, over 100 lessons that we've looked at from, from different districts so that we can be really confident that the outputs are, are meaningful and usable. And one of the things that makes this tool unique is that it really produces a timeline of how students and teachers are interacting in the classroom. The Habits and Routines app is a tool that represents the content of the work of Teachers Development Group. It can be used by researchers to code video to understand the quality of instruction happening within a math class. And it can be used by practitioners to formatively assess teaching practice.